going to be talking about hamstrings and I'm using my adorable little one here, my Elsie, in order to show you this, okay? So in a lot of hamstring work, like lying or seated leg curls, people will complain that they really only feel it in their calves. And that's common and I'll tell you why. So when the leg is completely straight, mechanically the hamstring is not in a position to actually, if it tries to contract, it, it can't pull at this point, okay? So really it's just going to be a stabilizer. And the gastroc, a portion of your calf, is what's going to be doing this movement here. That initial 15, 20 degrees is going to be done with your gastroc, and that's why a lot of people will feel majority of it in their calves, especially because a lot of people will launch from the bottom, and so their calf did most of the work, and then momentum kind of picks up and takes them to the top. So their hamstring did was a stabilizer at best, and their calf did the whole thing. And then they're wondering, why are my calves green but my hamstrings aren't? Or why am I only feeling this in my calves and not in my hamstrings? So let me give you a few tips. At about 15, 20 degrees, now the hamstring mechanically is in a position where if it contracts, it can now pull that and cause that knee flexion, right? Pull and cause that curl. So we're going to either limit your range and keep it at about 15, 20 degrees and work on that hamstring pulling. Or, you know, I think it's really important that we also continue to work our gastroc in this position and work this area. So what you can do is you can just take it very, like a more contr slow control to about 15, 20 degrees and then from there powerfully contract the hamstring now that it's in a position to actually pull and then do the curl right there. So I hope that helps. I have an adorable model here to help me.